Welcome to a troubled person's channel. This is Burnout, said troubled person. And by troubled person, I am someone who is bipolar, among other things. I'm also someone who was imagining what I was going to say about this intro. And when I'm about to say it, I end up coming blank. Then I end up writing the script to read so I can go ahead and say it. But since I didn't write it as soon as I thought of it, I still can't remember it. Which leads me to being disappointed about myself and maybe and think that maybe this won't work. Worrying about the things I had that hasn't even occurred yet. I put too much pressure on myself, expecting a better job and if I can't achieve that, I beat myself too hard how bad of a failure I am. I think way too much sometimes, I don't even understand, and it's hard to collect my thoughts. Writing the script is a good example. I mean, I'm reading it, but I can't keep up with <laughs> what's written. My brain can't keep up with its own thoughts, if that's even possible. That's some of, that's some of my troubles. If you can get what I'm saying from that short spiel, you know what I'm saying. If not, stay away from this video and any further ones from me. That's if I can even get that far. Anyway, I'm doing this because I can't live a normal life. Interacting with normal people on a normal job. I've tried it before. I realized that doing that is actually running away from the real me. Whatever that may be. And now I'm trying to discover and get to know myself better. Maybe watching myself struggle to record videos and play would help me understand and hopefully be more accepting of who I am. Maybe it would help me learn to let go of a lot of the things that are weighing me down as I go. For instance, I keep trying to start a video and just keep going on with it without worrying about what the viewers would think. Do it and get comfortable with it without thinking of the quality of how boring, awkward or maybe even weird the video might become. Then I'm back at this notepad in front of me trying to explain why and what to expect. The way my brain works is tiring and stressful which burns me out. It doesn't help that I'm bipolar to boot. I don't even know how long I've been preparing for this physically, mentally and emotionally but I'm exhausted before I even have a proper beginning. If you're still watching after all that unnecessary talking for you it might be because I probably need to. And you find that frustrating or disturbing even, you can stop now. I understand this channel might contain more of such things as I play. Again, I haven't even started one video yet, at least one I've successfully uploaded. Looking at the script, I don't even know if I've arranged my thoughts properly without checking for it twice. Because if I do that, I'll second out my self again and take longer than what I've already spent spent time making this. With that out of the way, I'll start without being too self-conscious of the recording, hopefully. Oh, I forgot to mention, there will be no editing done, so this would be a very long and slow series to cope up with burnout, hence burnout pace, which is what I'm trying to avoid. Thankfully, I am still able to hold on as exhaustive my whole process has gone so far while having not nothing to show for it. The video, the video might abruptly end in case anyone in my family wakes up because I don't, because I'm doing it while everyone is sleeping. I don't want them to find out what I'm doing because I'm gonna end up building pressure subconsciously, knowing that they know. Even if, they, even if they tell me they're not expecting anything of me. Oh, that sounded wrong. I mean, they tell me not to be pressured. Okay. I'll start now before this introduction gets any longer than it is. This, in fact, is actually the shortest of all my first recording scripts among all the first recordings I've done and deleted. I've also switched to a different game to record, and this is also going to be my first time playing it. 
I just saw the pictures on Steam, so I have no real idea how to play this. Or maybe I did back then when I bought it, and I just forgot about it, trying to prepare for such a long time without anything <laughs> to upload. And okay, that's the end of my script. Now I should focus on the game and forget about the microphone and the recording so I don't get to being dizzy again. That's a good start, I guess. I'm not dizzy. Plus, I'm not having a hard time breathing. Okay, I should maybe adjust the volume of the music. I think that's too loud. Okay, let's just leave it like that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, there's a story. Uh, it never changes. Okay. should probably read it so let's keep my voice in check <laughs> war for centuries the world was engulfed in never-ending strife and chaos what am i hearing is that okay uh what okay elves fighting dwarves dwarves fighting men orcs fighting everyone fighting everyone. The common folk were blood dry, poverty, famine, disease. I thought elves and dwarves were the ones fighting, and men are greedy for territory. What is that sound? Is it on the game? In the game? Or is it my cat? Okay, weird. <laughs> oh my goodness, that scared me. Secluded, secluded in his tower, researching forbidden magic secrets, the Archmage Hieronymus Teller, did I say that right? Made an extraordinary discovery. Is this death magic? A wild unknown type of magic with tremendous power. Spells of mass destruction capable of obliterating any city in one strike. Driven by the hope of ending all wars. What? So he's gonna nuke the world to end it? <laughs> he launched the spell on a small village. A gigantic dark ball of purple flames fell from the sky and smashed into the town center. Leaving only ruin, lifeless bodies, and purple fumes. The whole royal family of a neighboring kingdom was present at that time. That town is really bothering me. They all died. He's alive though. Oh. The king, mad with grief, ordered his mages to research this new magic. It's the nuclear arms race. He made his mages unleash hell on the neighboring capital city. Several hundred thousand died. The tremor shook all the kingdoms. All of them researched the purple magic. The sky was constantly flashing purple bursts. Thundering explosions were heard every hour. War was no more. Only annihilation. There was no turning back. At some point, 
the explosions stop, a resounding silence. The strange mist started to aggregate around the remaining cities. Small groups of survivors started to gather. The mist around them was thickening. At night, they had, they had to defend against attacks from strange monsters. They call them Clawers. They appointed a leader, the commander, and started rebuilding roofs and defenses, a new haven. Most mages were hanged, or worse, in retribution. Oh, or worse, in retribution, okay. Some of them, fearing for their lives, tried to find an answer. They found a way. A spell. The last spell. Oh, what could that be? Time travel? They built a circle of power to challenge their combined magic. The goal was simple, yet nearly impossible. Channel enough energy to summon and break the seals of magic and banish all magic from this world forever. But when comes the night, terrifying mutated creatures come out of the mist to kill. The survivor's only hope is to fight night after night and protect these mages at all costs. Will they die if magic ends? Huh? How are they so sure? Okay, so far. I'm not too tense or anxious. And I'm not suffering a panic attack. It's a good idea to focus on the game. And reading that actually calmed me down. It's like reading a book. Back to the game. Welcome, Commander. Defend the last bastion of humanity with a squad of heroes. Exterminate fin fiendish monsters with magic and brute force by night and rebuild your battered city defenses by day. You go, you must protect the magic circle until the mages cast the last spell. You lose if the magic circle is destroyed. All your heroes are dead. Position your heroes deployment phase. Place them just outside the city. The city stash isn't available during the night, so make sure to equip all your gear beforehand. The direction of incoming hordes shown in the commander's journal. Camera okay, can be moved. Can I do it now? Edge panning, camera grip. Mm okay. Is there a time? Can I pause? Oh, it's uh, by f it's turn base. Wait. Oh, okay. Can I switch that to WASD? I don't see why I shouldn't. I can, right? There's nothing. It's not conflicting with anything. Throw you down. Right, left. Pursue. Okay. Wait, what button? I should have checked this earlier. Open in Raculum shop. Position heroes Johan, Aneta, Richard. Or is coming southeast. Johan. Physical damage, critical resistance. Minus 10 armor. Isn't he the one carrying a, sh a shield? Wow, what's the class? Lifetime stats, city stats, stash. Sprint, no skills, mana, HP, AP. 
position him outside. How do I do that? Oh, there. Wait, do I click? Oh, I click. What's this orange thing? Oh, it's your turn. And you are Richard. Hero customization. Let's leave them like that. Wait, can I save? Or it's... It's the tutorial, I guess not. Cat is asking for food. One second. What's this orange thing? And you're gonna be the archers. This doesn't block line of sight. Okay, go here. Can I see their range? Oh, there. Plug in face. I want to buy. I guess I should just proceed. And end phase. I guess deployment. Yeah, I'm past production. So I guess that's it. Maybe you can be here. Oh wait, is this... can you go here? Okay. No. This guy looks like a... Magician... oh, sorry. Mage. Is what they call them. Fur pants. Stop it. Let's go... what's your range? Something like this. Can I move this? Nope. Okay, let's go. What? Isn't that too much? Fight monsters until they're all dead. Move your heroes and use their skills in any order you like. Once you're done, comes the Horde's turn. Any enemy within your haven or damaging its buildings will cause some panic. At the end of the night, the panic level that remains determines your rewards. Health and mana are not fully restored every day. Consult the character sheet for each hero's health, daily health and mana region. Heroes have two different weapon sets you can, you can swap freely between them at any time. Now it's this one. Any attribute modifier granted by the equipment is always applied and oh that's nice even for the weapon set that is not currently active. Uh, I hope I remember all of this. Here is available skill depends on the gear they have equipped. Any movement is cancelable until you cast a skill. Delete, delete, delete. Can I switch this guy? I don't want to approach them. 105 to 122. How much HP do they have? Oh. Oh. I just might. What's the number below though? I guess that's mana and action points. Four. I see. Physical. Related tiles. And not the scales farming. I don't get it. This is... Wait, how much movement do they have? 
Do I want him to dive in there? Evasion. Limit per turn to targets 1-1. One, one. I have 4. If I move, I'm guessing that's going to cost me a lot of things. So I'll move back. Oh no, it didn't cost me anything. Oh, this one. Who points? Okay. Does this thing have HP? Let's prevent them from... Range... Precise shot... Power shot... Tight volley. The further they are. That's like 6. Okay, let's move back. And you move here too. And then you... The skill will be cast multiple times from the targets of your choice. I want AoE. Restoration. Sword of Democles. Brace. Target. Or targets of your choice, okay. Targets. Let's try and... Rain of Arrows, Tide Volley. Decreases and I prefer a given duration. Move points, minus two. Oh, I don't mind, I guess. Can I move after I... I, I already forgot if... I can still move after I fire. Let's try this one first. Oh, out of range. This one. That's like three. Okay, good. Oh, I can still move. Still have two move points. And let's eliminate one guy. Effects inaccurate. 1.5. Target dodge. Oh wait, am I gonna hit? Am I gonna hit the? Should I risk it? Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, this... He got to be already. Okay, next. Hmm. He can move... How many times? Multi-hits times four. That's pricey. Tougher than the rest. It's armored. What if I right click? Nope. <laughs> I wish I can have it turned on. The range. Is that a possibility? Turbo. Display. Oh, I should set this to full screen. Shoom, okay. <clears throat> Whatever. Let's play for now. Four. Three. So I can move back. Words. Oh, it's still out of range. Uh, one. Two, three, four. Did I level up? Why am I glowing? Action points. Oh, oh yeah. Thought I can't move now. 
And you. Limit per turn too. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Okay, in turn. You have unresolved tasks. Okay. Uh oh. There's more? What's happening? Game over, please join. Oh, no, no, no. That was... Okay, undo. Let's make it rain. Eight. Plus eight every what? Oh, partially. After the battles, I guess. One, two. It doesn't show how much. The total damage is. I want to use it. I, think I want to go back here. You meanwhile should move back as well. And then engage this guy. Do I still have evasion? No? What's opportunism? Oh, that's one hit like that. <laughs> Boom. I got you. Okay, that's it for now. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if. Oh, it only stays for that turn. I see. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Crush. If I move by this much, I can run back three times. How many turns left? For daytime. 39 enemies. Oh, I see. Might be playing too carefully. Dodge times two. Or then I'll have four back. <clears throat> Let's chop this. Mm. Here. Okay, good. It's like four here. It's this guy. Power. Thought he had a skill to pull me because of those tentacles. I'd volley.
I'm running out of mana. It's your turn. Four. Four turns. Two. They talk. Do they have banter? I'm spacing out. Yeah, I'm spacing out. What's this? Jump over. Execute a tactical retreat. Free movement. What next? HP, HP 100. There's a lot of them still. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's too close. I'm paying attention. Yeah, I don't know which one. Let's go. For you. Head here. Yeah, just destroy them. You can. You can do that anyways. Let's be smart about this. Wait, what? No! I forgot about that. I was trying to protect them. Okay, you go there. And get this guy. Next. This guy. They're probably gonna get you next time, so... Preservation. Maybe I should have just attacked. I want to hit the armored guys. Three. Okay, that's nice. Oh, which one? So much damage. Yeah, let's settle with the basic attacks. I have two. Turbo mode. Speed up. What? It's not gonna speed up my brain. Uh, and turn. Oh, that's spacebar. 
Uh, I hope this those things are cheap to build. about that it's a tutorial mission my tongue okay focus on the game ignore the recording can I rotate this R oh I can how did I do that Oh, F to rotate. But I did it by zooming in too. There's a certain range for rotation. Do I want to fire? I won't have ma mana on the next few ones. Let's fire first. This guy and him again. Oh, he died. All right. Let's hit that far away guy. He can kill them all. Six. I should probably be safe. Eh? Thought it'd be everywhere. Wait, what does that do? Secondary effect. Ah, I see. But this is AOE. armor down to armor yeah let's use some of that mana you're complaining about that what are those stars I was done oh I do three 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 might as well push them up here. Okay, this game's done. It took longer. Longer than it should. Because I... Remembered I was recording. Only? Live 3. What's this? 11. Yes. Good thing time wasn't accounted for the battle rating. Oh. 
What's this? Night one. Well, that was easy. Sure. Can I build now? Assign workers to building tasks. On the buildings you have built. On ru ruins to get gold and materials by destroying them. Spend gold to construct buildings and upgrade them. Buy new gear for heroes and more. Spend materials to erect defenses around the haven. What time is it? Okay, I'll end the video here while I can still end it without abruptly stopping because it's almost time for somebody to wake up. And uh, this is Burnout. That's it for now. And don't burn out like me. Okay?